Right, so here we go. We've got a good one for you today. Uh, we're planting up a polytunnel. Lots of stuff in trays, feeds need to go into the beds now. So I'll give a bed a weed and a hoe over, add some farmyard manure, and we'll get planting up some of this stuff. Slugs and snails love these, so and there you go, she's protected. Okay, moving on, we'll get the spinach in next. You got this, you want to break the roots at the bottom. Now what I'll do, I'll interplant some spring onion. Okay, so the bed's all planted. So first up we've got beetroot. Then we've got spinach interplanted with spring onion. And then moving on down to the Kalana kinchi. And this is in a ultra fine hoop tunnel, uh, simply because the slugs absolutely love this stuff. So this is how we fill the hanging baskets up. Multi-purpose compost. And then in the middle, just a little bit of blood fish and bone. Mix it in. And then top it up with more compost. And it'll really so moving on we'll put the lola rosso into the hanging basket uh been looking forward to this for quite a while actually 
I have uh, more of them ready now. So these little plugs will just go in. And we don't need that many. They will push out, as you can see. So I'm going to put three in here. And because, as we know, it gets warm, put a layer of grit on the top, just hold the moisture in. There you go, she's good to be hung up. And as this matures, the tips of the leaves go red. Really, really nice one. So here we go. That's on there like that. We'll water it in. And because this is a new hanging basket, we'll poke some holes in the bottom. And this will let water run through. And then next up we'll do the uh, all year round lettuce. Uh, I need to prick this out and put it straight into the hanging basket. So, wish me luck. very delicate on this bit We'll probably put four or five into this one hanging basket. Tease them apart. In they go. Uh, we'll put some grit on the top and hang them up, give them more water. And as you can see, all the hanging baskets are done. So we've got all year round in the first two, then Lola Rosso, and then on to the lettuce I did earlier. So, absolute tons of lettuce, all supported on the Lettuce hanging frame, shall we call it. Okay, so that's a fairly productive morning. Still got loads to do and I've still got loads left. So we'll put them in the outside beds as well. Let's go and take a look at what's happening in the low tunnel. As you can see, beetroot's doing really well. Spinach is coming on. I've just interplanted some winter destiny with some spring onion up top. As the seeds are, are sown, they just didn't germinate, so gone to plan B. Loads of plugs anyway. This is a killer kimchi on the in the middle, spinach, and then beetroot and spring onion again. So that's a full bed. Right, so here's a plot tour for the middle of October. 
got our onion sets in. They've already sprouted. And our garlic, which is put on a good root system. So that's where we want it. A bit too big for my liking. Uh, kale we're still harvesting. I have moved the compost bin. So I've now moved it to this corner. And a couple of free beds. The low tunnel is doing absolutely fantastic. Then we've got the strawberries. Leeks. Uh, the bed behind the leeks has just become free. And we have the asparagus beds and the shed has landed. Look at that. Uh, sorry I didn't do a build of the shed video. Uh, I only had a few hours to put it up so uh, let's take a look around here. So we have our greenhouse as well. That's now in position. Looking fairly fine. Uh, and if we move around to the shed eight foot by six foot uh, sits in there really nice and good times we're about to deck this out inside so that should be fun lovely view Right, so that's a really productive morning. The rain's just about to start coming in now. So all this bed's planted up. Hanging baskets are looking fantastic. The low tunnel is absolutely banging. Got ourselves one of the final courgettes of the season, which looks more like a pumpkin. And we're all good to go. We've got still loads of uh, plugs left, so we'll see where we can fit these in around the plot. As always, if you like these, follow along. Uh, style content please subscribe like and share if possible and we'll see you next time